Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with a new weapon, the Superi 46. It's an SMG. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it all the way to Interstellar. So let's take a look at the camo challenges. The first one, the elusive neon. And that thing does look a bit neon. You have to get to level two and 50 operator kills. That's it. The second one, and then they all fell out, which sounds a bit weird. 25 hip fire kills, and that's after you get to level nine. Lambit streaks. That one, you need 10 operator kills while crouching or sliding. So, so far, not a problem. Filed and buffed. You got to get to level 22, and that's the max level. And then you have to get 10 kills with a stunned or blinded operators. And and I recommend the engineer vest with flashers for that one. Going on to Gilded, kill two enemies without releasing the trigger 15 times. So you're definitely going to put the big magazine on for that. For the forged, 25 operator kills while aim down sight and strafing. So that's an important and there. You need to be strafing. For the priceless, first you have to do 36 forge. You can see I have 51 out of 36 completed. They still haven't fixed that simple thing to fix. 15 operator headshots while moving. So I did put on a laser for that one because I decided that it would be easier to get the operator headshots while moving with a laser from a hip fire than aim down sight. And then once you have priceless, you have interstellar. Let's take a look Look at my final configuration. The one in the original because I didn't have anything to configure it with. I decided on the 40 round magazine and you can see there's a lot of red there but still the Sun Superior, I want to say Sunseri, he played football for Alabama. The Superior is still an awesome weapon and has awesome mobility and handling even with that red. The damage for the headshot is 45. That's a heavy damage. Upper torso, lower torso, 39. So that's heavy also and then 30 for the upper legs the target flinch is at 1.4 newtons which is a pretty decent flinch that's a composite though due to some of the attachments i've hung on the weapon the effective damage range reaches out to 15 meters with a minimum damage at 4 t 40 meters 504 milliseconds for the bullet velocity and that all important rate of fire we're going to call it 667 because i don't repeat the mark of the devil. Very little recoil with this weapon. 29.28 degrees per second on the kick. Horizontal is 19.56 and yes there is a 41.56 degrees per second vertical recoil but it's easily controlled. As far as accuracy, hip fire spread at 2 degrees, tax stance spread at 2.4 and you can see the movement speed 5.4 almost 5.5 meters per second. Sprint speed's a little low tactical spent speeds about average but look at the ads movement speed at 4.3 meters per second we're going to be going sideways about as fast as some people move forward ads speed is okay at 195 milliseconds as is the sprint to fire at 99 milliseconds okay on the reload quickness at 2.3 seconds so get some of the others a socken zx grip and that helps with the recoil control no downsides. The Jack Cutthroat, one of my favorite attachments. And that gives us up to the 4.3 meters per second on the ADS movement speed. Helps with the movement speed and crouch movement speed, which comes into play because you've got to get some kills sniffing your toes for these camos. The Terminal 5 Suppressor Barrel. I like that one because it gives me a suppressor. Yeah, it severely impacts the effective damage range, but with the recoil as low as it it is as easy to control as it is I can reach out and get extra bullets into people at distance that again helps with the composite movement speed the aim down sight movement speed which is really the reason I hung this one on besides the suppress it's a two and one the ADS speed significantly and 10% better sprint to fire speed so let's take the superior 46 onto the field of honor and see how we ranked it up all the way to interstellar all right, let's get this thing interstellar. Compared to the Rival 9 configured, fire rate, 
not not as good. You got to be concerned with that as with bullet velocity. But look at the damage. It's all green. The damage per second exceeds the rival nine in every category there. So overall, the fire rate is made up for by the greater impact of the superi. We'll call it the superi. As far as ranges and kill metrics, Superi wins with the effective damage range, minimum damage range. The Rival 9 goes out a bit further. Kill, time to kill, just about the same for both of them. So fewer shots to kill too. And you'll find out that the Superi is a bit more accurate, in my opinion. So the shots, the fewer shots, are more likely to land. It's the recoil and performance where the Superi absolutely shines with the initial kick significantly less than the Rival 9. Performance, the Superi wins at every possible way. And take a look at the ADS movement speed. The only place where the Rival 9 has the nod and a significant nod is in the sprint to fire time. So, let's see what happens. I was really impressed at the start. I felt like I was absolutely throwing cement at the enemy at a very fast rate. So, with the elusive neon, and that's not how you spell elusive, you got to get to level 2, get 50 kills. So, just do what you always do. I use the small map mosh pit. I recommend that for ranking up very quickly. And we got it in the first or second game. No flash. I, I kept falling out because of the software issues. I kept being updates. So they all fell out. We got to get to level nine, which happened, I think, the third game. Just 25 hip fire kills. And the thing is a hip fire beast. Lambert streaks. 10 crouching kills. So I've already gotten they all fell out, which is a weird name for a camo. And I'm on the crouch kills here. There's the Lambert streaks unlock the first flash that I got of the day. Now I need to filed and buffed level 22, about five games, I think, to get there. 10 kills on a stunned or blinded enemy. I'll show you those because people say that they're difficult. And they really, they're pretty easy if you do it in shipment or you do it in Das House. Not sure whether that one counted or not. But just throw it down where you know they're standing and gack them. Excuse me, lady. Sorry about that. Rinse and repeat. And the stun lasts a while, so you got time to get there. Not sure if that one counted or not. He's dressed for success. There's a double. These things happen fairly quickly. Oh, there we go. I know two people are stunned. I think I got one gack out of that. And we'll throw off the mosquito. Go do work, my child. My buzzing child. There's another one. And I don't think that counted, but the stun, uh, the flash grenade actually gacked the guy. He must have been in very low health. And there it is, filed and buffed. It's completed. I didn't see it, so I kept stunning and shooting. For Gilded, we need two kills without releasing the trigger. There was one. And we need to be able to do that 15 times. I thought that was going to be a challenge, and it ended up not being too much of a challenge. There's another one. Put on the 40 round mag for that. There I am changing camos. There's another. Just spray and pray. There we got a kangaroo. An ice cube looking kangaroo. I got gacked a few times, and a few times you got to release the trigger because it doesn't make any sense if there's nobody to gack out there. There's another one. And another. 
we got the winter green and then we got the red man and this guy here was absolutely astounding with the new car 98k i mean he was hip shooting everybody and i checked the gilded's done i kept trying to do it and it was done so now for fours we need 25 kills while strafing ads not sure what constitutes a straight, how much you have to move, but it has to be back and forth or it can only be one way. There's another, I think car 98K, that one I'm gonna do next. I already started it. There's my DNA spread all over Stash House. They have some event going on where you collect those strands of DNA. It says I've gotten over 350 of them, but I, I don't know how if they count 10 each or whatever, because I doubt it. Here, see, strafing, aim down sight. This thing moves side to side about as fast as anything with Jack Cutthroat. 4.3 meters per second. So keep checking them. I can see that it's ringing up the bell, so we know we're doing them right. I always put your camos on the in-game status so that you can check and make corrections if they're not counting. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Several times the counting was inoperative and they fix it later. When I say counting, I mean the counting for a specific camo. People are sliding past me like they're on ice. There we go. Looking for guys. And I tended to buy the farm more when you're going for the camos because you do things you don't normally do. Like normally that guy would have been gacked because I just would have focused in on him and gotten him. Whoa. But these things fell pretty quickly, especially on small map. Got a guy that uh, must have had ants in his pants because he jumped pretty high. <laughs> look how can, look how fast it goes side to side. I mean, it was almost beyond my ability to to use it at times. It seems, especially when you're ADS. When you're not ADS and you're hip firing, at, that's a blessing. But ADS, the guy goes out of the frame sometimes. Whoa, whoa, yeah, he got me. There was some kind of flash there, not sure what it was. Oof, got me again. Go, my child, bite somebody. There you go, hold that for me. He's going to come out and he'll be an easy strafe kill. And there's another easy one. And I was an easy one for somebody else. I don't think I want to mess with that thermite. Okay, I'll just wait outside until the the bomb hits me. There we are, moving and shooting, chucking and jiving, taking a bullet to the back of the gourd. So at least my beautiful teeth are still intact. Well, I don't know. There's an easy one. Look at there. Look how fast it's strafing. Oh, I was going to shoot my own guy. I'll take him instead. All right, we got most of them in that one game. I think I need just a few more to end it and move to the priceless challenge. Come on. We're strafing. There we go. Sorry about that, Snoop. There. It's always somebody there. We stuck somebody. And then we got Snoop again. Poor guy. But Snoop's the king, and no doubt, Snoop is a king. Oof. Ouch. Hey, already strafing. Whoa. Got the knifer, the obligatory knifer. There's one. Got another knifer. I think that was a different guy, too. There's another strafing kill. ADS, bonk, bonk, bonk. Your 
And there's the forge where I'm priceless. 15 headshots while moving. Now, I messed around too with just doing it with a laser hip firing and I got a significant amount of those because what, what is that? That guy looks like a jack-in-the-box. There we go. Just grinding and soaking and throwing out the thermo. There's the jack-in-the-box. And that wasn't anywhere near a headshot. More like a knee shot. Here we go. Oh, she jumped at the last second, but I believe there was a headshot there. There's one for sure, and I'm moving. You know, those DNA strands everywhere. There's the jack in the box. Somebody's turning that crank pretty fast because it keeps popping out of the box. Pretty much a guy that's jumping up and down is an easy kill. There's a headshot. We have 13 out of the 15. We only need two more. <laughs> and we'll get it maybe on the next life. And maybe the next life. Ooh, there's, well, I was getting his head. Pretty rude of him to move. There's the jack in the box. We are hammering these guys to cream. Because they seem more intent on jumping. Here, come on. Oof. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Nope. Just need a couple more. Work with me. That was a headshot, one more. That wasn't because they jumped at the last second. And there's the last one, I think. Nope. Well, that looked like a headshot. That one is for sure. So there we are with Priceless. Everything is completed. And we just played it out to win. Powerful weapon. And there it is, Priceless on the Superi or Superi or Super One, who knows. And as importantly or more importantly, Interstellar. I found this weapon to be a joy. It's got a lot of power. You should probably use this one before they nerf it because I don't see how they can let it stand. It's got great recoil control. It's got good range and it's got tremendous power. Please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Peace and cheers.